I played way too much Factorio, which makes me a perfect guy to tell you this 19 advanced tips you probably never heard of. Let's quickly start with productivity modules. Did you know that when you use productivity modules in the labs, the productivity bonus is directly calculated and applied every tick, so the productivity bar is simply a cosmetic light that many of us believed for way too long. This means it doesn't matter that the productivity bar restarts when you take out the module, because no productivity bonus is lost. Blueprints in this game are amazing, but you can make them even better by preparing a set of blueprints that are connected to each other. For example, look how quick I can set up these smelters by placing a few lines of miners, furnaces and couple of belts at the end. Other great ideas for blueprint sets are different types of walls plus corners or rails with all kinds of junctions and stations. Every beginner knows when you place a power pole and keep pressing the left mouse button while moving, you start to place new power poles at the maximum possible distance. This works in cars, trains and spiders. But do you know what will happen in this case? Ok, let's say it once more. You! Do you know what will happen when you press left mouse button with a power pole and run? A. Every inserter will be powered. B. Factory will crash because of those stupid inserters. C. Engineer will run out of power poles. Or D. It doesn't matter because biters will eat this anyway. If you have chosen all the answers, you are right. Ok, now let's be serious. When you drag power poles, they will be positioned so everything within range will be powered. Pretty useful thing. It's a common mistake that players place an underground belt in a wrong direction, what causes problems with item delivery. For a long time I was just looking at the direction of belt that is inside of underground. Yes, this little thing right there. Or I was just hovering with a mouse over underground belt to see those arrows. However, there is an easier method, just look at those arrows and they will show you a belt direction. I have no clue how I didn't spot this earlier. By the way, about spotting, here is a meme for you. I already told you that modular blueprints are amazing, but we can make them even, even better. Blueprints prepared to be placed from a map view can make expanding your late game megabase so much easier. Look, it's me making 2 gigawatts of power. Here I'm fixing our diplomatic relationship with neighbors. And there is almost me producing 20 million green circuits. Everything without even moving my little engineering guy. Because the key to success in this game is automation. Bots in this game are not clever. I would say they are quite stupid. But it doesn't matter because you are the smart guy in your factory. And it's your job to think for them. This is why it's good to prepare a special deconstruction planner which destroys everything except raw ports and power poles from your blueprints to make constructing huge factories way easier. If you want to go even further, you can prepare special stages for your blueprints, because some buildings are so huge they first need a few radars to be placed. This is why blueprints with radars, power and robots will be answered to this problem. Of course, the reason to why we start with robots and power is obvious. We want to first make it easy to access charging spots for our bots. I simply for a second, only a small 8% of people who watch my videos are subscribed. So if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. It means a lot to me. Thanks. So you really thought I was joking about diagonal smelters in this video? Are you crazy? There are two things in Factorio that you cannot joke about and the second one are diagonal smelters. If you want to make something unique on a multiplayer server, there is no better building to do than a diagonal smelter. I just want to tell you, there is nothing wrong with experimenting with new styles of your factory, because it might inspire you to designing a better factory. You can use shift plus left mouse button with open chat to easily share your blueprints, blueprint books or to show some items to your friends. Obviously, it's useful only on the multiplayer servers. Every player has a different collection of blueprints, so this tip will help you with exchanging your blueprints with your friends. It will allow you to build a stronger friendships and spread love on servers by sending your favorite blueprints to your friends and favorite streamers. If anyone copies that blueprint, you are banned forever. There are so many shortcuts in this game and it's hard to remember all of them. I think you know the most common shortcuts, but what about Alt plus R? shortcut for turning on and off your bots from power armor. It's a time saver after some peaceful diplomatic negotiation about resources with those ugly aliens. 
tank repairing was never that easy. There are also unique shortcuts for trains. Did you know that you can connect new wagons or new locomotives to your train with G button? What about disconnecting them with V? Maybe you're gonna use it someday, I don't know. The Factorio map is infinite, but it's still good to save space in your base. As a Factorio Pro, you are probably in love with trains. You cannot place train stops on curved rails, but you can first place straight rails, place a station and then put a curved rail, saving two tiles in process. The train will work normally and you will have two tiles of free space. Don't waste it on stupid things like Spider-Tron DJ. Wagons have an awesome feature which allows you to set special slots for items that you want. Just open wagon inventory and by pressing a scroll mouse button set special slots. You can use it to make trains that cannot contaminate your system when you send them to a wrong outpost by setting only one wagon and then copying and pasting it with shift right mouse button and shift left mouse button. Those are your template trains that you can turn into blueprint to make building new outposts easier. Another trick that you can use with the same feature is using wagons as a big chest that gives access to many inserters at once. Like you can see, here is my mall made with this strategy. Maybe it doesn't keep the best radius, but it's not that important in a mall, because you are using this place only from time to time, when you want to grab some useful items. This setup is also easy to build when you have a blueprint for wagons. Of course, this is only a suggestion and I hope you create something even better than this. Fluid systems in Factorio are quite complicated for new players, but also more advanced engineers like you might find some aspect of it pretty hard. So long story short, all fluids in pipes and tanks want to be on equal level, what makes transporting large quantity of liquids very slow. To speed up this process a bit, you can use underground pipes if possible, because underground pipes count as a 2 normal pipes instead of 10 if you use them in a full length. What's more, if you reduce the amount of pipes then less fluids have to be simulated and Factorio will have easier calculation. Of course, it's not going to make a big difference. But hey, every way to save a few EPS is good. Button Air allows you to rotate belts and machines. Yeah, okay, silence. I know that all of you already know that. But what about pressing Shift and Air? Hmm? In this way, you can rotate something in a positive way. Very useful thing. Especially when you are working with belts, fluids, balancer or any other buildings that require a lot of rotating like train stations. I'm not recommending playing Factorio alone for too long, because your bases and playstyle will be similar every time. Also, it's good to have somebody who'll tell you that it's already 4 in the morning. It happens in these games sometimes. Playing with other people allows you to look at Factorio from a completely different perspective and exchange factory design with your new friends. For example, there is the most inefficient buffer I've ever seen in my life. And this is a very similar buffer made by my friend that can slowly distribute items to an assembler when needed and make a supply point for bots. It might not be the game changing design, but if I was playing alone, I would never thought about finding a use for this. For this! It's just an example and I'm sure you will find something way better. Also, if you are looking for somebody to play with, try our Discord, we have a great community here. Cars in Factorio are taken as a vehicle all the time. Yeah, people just use them to travel and that's all. When tanks and cars can be used in a completely different way with a little bit of imagination. Like right there. This is a car spinning science researcher that uses only one yellow belt for all the science packs. Cars with dedicated slots for science battles rotate around the labs and get loaded here in a nice sequence. This is other use for cars. You can place them in hard to reach places like right there and build even more awesome factories. This is also an interesting thing to build. However, I'm not sure if it's worth it. But you know what? Everything is up to you. Also, feel free to use the trick from the ticket slots in wagons because it works the same with cars. This tip is only for your friends because I assume that you are a pro and you don't die in Factorio anymore. So the most annoying mechanic in Factorio is the free pistol after a respawn. There is no simple way to quickly get rid of it and all what you can do is make this box of shame on your respawn or maybe a few more boxes of shame. My solution for this is a reserve slot for your gun. When you hover over your gun slot and press middle mouse button, a small window will pop up. 
then choose submachine, shotgun, flamethrower or rocket launcher. Any negotiating tool except the pistol is good. Also, remember to reserve all the slots, otherwise it's not gonna work. After you die in a fight, I mean after your friend dies in a fight, he will respawn without pistol in his hand. Of course, pistol will be still in his inventory, but it's easy to fix with bots and auto trash. Developers work hard to improve blueprints from patch to patch, and not many players know about this new feature. Now you can flip your blueprints horizontally with F while holding a blueprint or flip them vertically with G. This trick will help you build your base way faster. Here I have a furnace setup that takes input from the bottom and transforming it into a setup with call input from the top might take some time. But I can also easily copy an already existing line, press G and voila. You can also take Nilo's blueprints and flip uh, them Ok, just place them as they are. Many players neglect circuit logic in Factorio and play without it at all, or use it very spontaneously. But for those who like playing with circuits, did you know that you can connect miners to your system and read the amount of ore from a whole resource patch? You can easily track how much ore is left in your outpost and build more when needed. If you are a big brain engineer like this guy, you can also count the output of your outpost and calculate for how long a specific outpost will last. But this is too advanced stuff for me. If you want to be even better in Factorio, here you can find more tutorials. Or there are some funny videos if you want to just laugh and have fun. Thanks for watching. <laughs>